Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and Taurus Rising weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for uh, October 22nd to October 28th and uh, while, uh, 2018, excuse me, and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards uh, again I want to remind you guys that this is going to be just a, a general reading for Taurus star signs and uh, it's not going to be your personal reading. Therefore, I will try my best to explain the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread. But it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, uh, if you want me to do that for you, well, that will be a subject of uh, a personal reading. And uh, for personal readings, please uh, check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings. So going to a tarot spread first. The, uh, the first position is about the topic of the week. The second position is about the core of the situation for the week. The third position are the challenges causing predicaments. Uh, to Tauruses and the last one is going to be about the guidance. The Tauruses... Um, are to follow should they choose to of course so uh, let's see what you got here I'm gonna turn over the first couple of cards as they are um, uh, they are severely linked into one another so we do have the temperance with uh, the Sun card so according to the topic of the week here the temperance this is going to be a week where you are to take on big portion of your chores um, and you're gonna take them quite seriously now that that will be because uh, you are going to recognize that the chores are having a, a big uh, impact upon how successful your undertakings are going to be now into contribution with uh, the Sun card it does look like that those chores that you have to take on will not be as annoying and aggravating as they normally would have been it is because the sun card will is kind of exerting a, a lot of resignation when it comes to taking on things which are not coming pleasant to us uh, on top of that uh, the temperance here is pointing that there will be a huge portion of uh, should I say compromise uh, <clears throat> in between people that are involved into the situation that is uh, exceptionally well manifested when we're talking about relationships here where everybody recognizes that without you know without taking on the chores this relationship will always fall off grace and always fall off its harmony. So <clears throat> in that specific sense, the temperance uh, represents here finding the, uh, the middle path, finding the middle road without going into neither of the extremes where you are totally succumbed to the chores, you know, doing nothing else but that, or completely ignorant where one does not want to take to take under um, <clears throat> consideration not to contribute into anything that it basically does not uh, makes them happy so what, what, from that particular sense we're talking for extremely balanced week where uh, you and your surroundings you know are going to fall into a, a big harmony if I may say it that way and throughout that harmony a much of your issues and problems are going to be resolved especially if those problems or issues are involving other people like boyfriends and girlfriends like uh, friends or co-workers etc etc as also the uh, the temperance card exerts uh, solidarity and exerts compassion and also exerts um, honor for the lack of better terms in the sense of that everybody will honor the other person's opinion without uh, actually trying to bruise their own opinion upon them uh, in, a, in addition to that the same card as a core of the situation represents the recognition of, of uh, how successful one could be if one is not unyielding to a, a certain standpoint and to a certain performances as we spoke here that we are going to take on a, a specific chore in your life which you were unyielding about 
in the previous couple of weeks maybe or in a previous couple of months. The Sun card also points that you are going to make peace with a lot of people around you so you can expect that um, uh, Rangos and negotiate uh, Rangos excuse me and as well disputes, um, <clears throat> arguments, fights, scandals etc etc to lose significant uh, meaning, uh, <clears throat> meaning when we're talking about the week moving forward. And also the Sun card in that specific case points that everybody will recognize that it will be much more productive when people are working together uh, for the common goal and for the common purpose rather than uh, working against one another. Everybody try to accomplish the same thing as the other one while together that could be accomplished much more efficiently and uh, with much less effort. <clears throat> So the next card that we do have is going to be the challenges which are causing predicaments here. So this, this is the Seven of Wands. And the Seven of Wands, very peculiar that we do have it uh, at that specific place because it's kind of, first of all, it's boosted by the Sun card and by the Temperance. But, it, but as a meaning and, and as an interpretation, it goes a little bit contrary, especially to the Sun card. Because the uh, Seven of Wands represents exterior influence that will be challenging to overcome. These are, uh, I could guess here that these are people who does not want who does not want you to go as far as you want to go or they they simply want to see you failing therefore what comes as a challenge here is to guard very well your boundaries not to allow malicious influence to go into your sphere of of performance and in general of your sphere of life that could be the jealous boyfriend <clears throat> that is trying to to steal your girlfriend that could be you, a jealous ex-girlfriend that is trying to steal your boyfriend as well, etc, etc. That could be as well someone from your co-workers that has a significant amount of envy towards you. Seeing now that you are coping very well with the chores, they don't want to see you that and they are causing predicaments to you by spreading rumors, um, uh, false testimonials, um, uh, uh, fraudulent schemes, etc, etc. Now what is important when we do have the seven of ones here is that you slumber the opposition straight away you do place efforts into that direction to kind of diminish the negative impact uh, and that should happen uh, uh, with a severe portion of aggression as well what i'm trying to say here guys is that if you kind of try to keep a silent treatment or ignorance in uh, for that matter pretending that uh, nothing big is happening or, or around here you know and this opposition of these predicaments are going to resolve on their own Code, or if you don't pay attention to them, if you ignore them, they will simply lose interest and will not cause any more troubles at your behalf. You are quite wrong. I mean, they are going to escalate and they are going to escalate quite quickly here. That's why you have to you have to intercept and resolve, um, you, you know, these um, these malicious intentions. Uh, in a stage of fetus, so in a stage of where they are just forming. That will involve confronting the person who is about to uh, spread some gossips or to make some fraudulent schemes or, you know, or to kind of place false testimonials, etc., etc. Uh, and uh, you have to be very determined and, as I said, very aggressive because these people are going to be quite aggressive and they will want to um, uh, basically interfere with everything that you do. So from one of the sides here, Tauruses, is that we do have you sorting out um, your undertakings and you're sorting out especially those chores that are coming quite annoying and quite aggravating at your behalf, recognizing that they are substantial portion of the uh, the success that you are after regarding your relationship or regarding your career on top of that you are to make some peace with a, a meaningful people who are to help you chasing go your goals but on another hand we do have different side of the society which is interfering and are trying and are trying to create obstacles for you by uh, relying on um, <clears throat> fallacies and fraudulent schemes, surreptitious actions in other words. So uh, what is the guidance here that Taro is to offer you? 
And that will be the Six of Swords. So the Six of Swords is the subtlety of uh, the communication. The Six of Swords is about placing oneself into the other people's shoe, shoes. Or in other words, placing oneself into a less comfortable zone. So when we do have this card as a guidance, it speaks that you can convince, especially those which are severely against you, that working against you is as fact that they are working against oneself but from another hand if they side with you then there is a, a much bigger chance and not just much bigger chance guys but there is a, a much greater goals that can be pursued and that can be achieved and no wonder that this card comes as a challenge because the challenges as i like to say are to be overcome and you can overcome that particular challenge as you use the exceptional skills of your communication and your negotiation abilities as well so you can make those people believe and see that it will be much more beneficial for them to work with you than to work against you so the next uh, what we're to see here is the Lenormand cards and the Lenormand are about to show us a uh, event that uh, you Tauruses should either uh, look forward to or uh, try to avoid so let's see what we got here. So the first card, this is going to be the star and the star stands for finding a way, guidance and in general um, accurate direction that we do have. Then is the, um, is the ring. The ring sta uh, stands for partnership, marriage, relationship, commitment as well. And the last one, this is going to be the bird. The bird stands for gossips, it stands for phone calls, it stands for social media. So, um, <clears throat> this could be quite a way on an event. Now, these cards could manifest as an event in a quite broad scale. But what I could say is that you are to find a way here to unite everybody under a, a certain commitment using, uh, as I said, your civil communicational skills through social media or through phone calls as well. And as this is pointing gossips, that is a another um, another sign, should I say that way. Uh, that way that uh, those people who initially are going to be against you Tauruses will try to kind of bring you down through gossips and through social media but you can use that weapon against them as well so you can unite them uh, unite them under the banner of the common goal and of, under the banner of the common agenda so that being said here just to summarize the reading uh, for you Tauruses, it does look like that this is going to be a, a very productive week for one building up a, a fellowship and that fellowship will start initially from uh, from those which uh, truly believes in you but you do have a, a big chance here guys to also attract those who have a big doubts in you and they are a, a true enemy to your cause and probably their true enemy to your cause it is because your cause it's kind of coming alien to them they don't truly understand what you want to achieve and but most likely they are seeing you wasting resources which is the the uh, the reality here and it is why you have to use your exceptional communicational skills um, in social media and in uh, leading well negotiations in general through phone calls if we are looking at the birds <clears throat> to convince those people that it will be better to work with you rather than against you because working against you it is everybody lose while working with you it is where everybody wins and not to forget that uh, according to the temperance card here guys you have to show a big portion of solidarity and of compassion as well so that being said Tauruses this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for October 22nd to October 28, 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, again this was just a, a general reading for Tauruses star sign this was not your personal reading guys and uh, therefore I tried my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards there are synergy in the spread, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. 
and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.